Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and uh, let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. Yo, what's going on, people? And we're back again, man, to talk some more boxing. So right now, who we've got, we're going to talk about who you think is the greatest Caribbean boxer of all time. All right, so um, I've got some guys in, in the comment section, not the comment section, in the description box that um, notable names that I, I, I can name to him. Because when you think about the Caribbean, it's massive, you know. It's, it's also like when you sort of Britain, you've got Ireland, there's part of Ireland and Wales. And I, I actually incorporated that in the list. And also in America, in the American Isles, actually, I should have put, um, yeah, in the American Isles as well. So you, you incorporate all these fighters as well. So, all right, here we, here we go. Let's, so, actually, is that cute? Mexico, Mexico is not American. That don't matter. Now, all right, anyway, so the greatest Caribbean fighters of all time. So, in no order, um, first off, Felix Savon. Felix Savon, even though Felix Savon's an amateur, amateur boxer, is born in, um, he was born in Jamaica, actually, and um, obviously Paris took his communal when he, when he was a bit older, and obviously Bouts like he was an amateur, one of the greatest Cuban boxers of all time. I remember there was actually talking about him and Ali was actually fight, but he said it was too barbaric. It was offered him to turn pro, but he never went to turn pro. He said, but what's the worth of being, um, uh, taking money, like, than being a, Cuban, I think a Cuban citizen? He preferred that. So, um, um, yeah, so Felix Savon, um, great Great fighter out of um, Cuba, born in Jamaica. Excellent fighter. He's there on the list. Tevis Ferguson Stevenson. He's another one. Um, Cuban boxer, amateur boxer. Great fighter. Got, what it? I think he's three gold medalists. I think both of them got like three gold medals. I think Steve Stevenson, he could have, uh, Felix Stevenson, he could have got four. But um, Stevenson, three, three gold medalists, Olympic gold medalist, and. Um, Outstanding boxer. Um, who else we got here? Who else we got here? We got um, Emil Griffiths. Emil, Emil Griffiths. He's uh, from the Virgin Isles over there. Um, the two weight champion, world weight, middleweight. Um, fought all the best at the time. Um, excellent fighter. He had that war with Benny Kip Ray, also from Cuba. I put him on the list as well because the kid is also a world champion. And they fought the best. They actually fought to a war. And unfortunately, uh, Emil Griffiths um, had a fatal death with the uh, with Benny Kip Perez in that fight. That's, that's a shame. So uh, another fighter, obviously, in the, out of the Caribbean, Kid Chocolate. Don't forget the Popo Man. The Popo Man, Kid Chocolate. Don't forget him. One of the great fighters out of the 30s, I believe 40s. Um, outstanding world champion. Fought all the best at the time. Uh, most notably that people, when people think of the Jamaica, but just in the Caribbean, it's Mike McCallum. Mike McCallum and Julian Jackson. <laughs> listen, the Virgin, <laughs> listen, listen. When them two, the Virgin Islands of Jamaica put on a fight, uh, in, in, and they put it in, um, in what was it, Miami Beach in uh, Florida. Miami Beach, yeah. So they, them two, they put on a war, and you saw it. Epic. These guys are both legendary, great fighters, and uh, absolutely Julian Jackson and Mike McCallum, like the body of Mike McCallum, the Hawk Julian Jackson. Uh, great Caribbean fighters. Jose Napolis, outstanding world weight champion. Uh, just had the belt for, for the longest time and carried the belt. Fought all the greats at the time. Fought, um, he fought many great fighters at the time. Um, he's a great fighter. A smooth as butter, Mantequilla. <laughs> smooth as butter, Jose. Who's it? Mantequilla, smooth as butter. That's what that means. Uh, he actually settled in Mexico, but he was uh, born out of Cuba. And, because of Cuba, they want to turn pro, so he went to Mexico and started his pro career there. Um, also, you've got Hammy, uh, Simon, Simon Brown. Simon Brown, outstanding fighter. Uh, who did he knock out? How did he knock out Terry Norris? Who did he knock out Terry Norris? He's an outstanding fighter himself, Terry Norris. Um, no, that, that was Julian Jackson, actually. Yeah, <laughs> but um, Simon Brown, great fighter in his own right, world-weight champion, um, out of Jamaica, and um. All the best in weight class as well. Guillermo Regan, though, as of the this fought recently the other day, actually. Outstanding um bantamweight champion. Um for the best. Um Nanito Danair and uh, other names. He fought um Lomachenko, unfortunately it didn't work out his way. But he's still a great fighter, deserves to be on notable court as one of the greatest Caribbean fighters of all time. 
Felix Tito Trinidad. As I you know, what I'm saying enough to say welterweight, middleweight champion. Try you know, try to go light heavyweight. Um, outstanding fighter. Holded the IBF uh, worldweight champion when he beat Maurice Blocker, Blocker and um, continued the reign of terror. Beat Oscar De La Hoya to finish his worldweight capping worldweight. Moves up to 154 and beat um, what's his name again? The American Dream. What's his name? David Reed and beat Fernando Vargas. You know, just unified. Got two belt WBA uh, IBF belts at 154. You know and I'm saying they moved up to middleweight and captured the middleweight belt. Uh, Trinidad's great, man. Trinidad. Uh, he, William Jockey, lost of Nar Hopkins, but an outstanding, great, all time great Felix Tito Trinidad. No doubt about it. Uh, Will Felder Gomez, come on, man. Will Felder Gomez, a great fighter, the bazooka. Yeah, great Puerto Rican fighter. Had great fights with Salvador Sanchez, Azuma Nelson, and um, he was just, he listen, carried that belt with class and grace for many years. Miguel Cotto and Hell Cotto. Um, as you know, you know what I'm saying, Miguel Cotto had the, the Dobio, uh, is it a lightweight? No, the 140 belt, carried it for, for a good while. And um, yeah, he was a, he's a great fighter as well. And uh, and he fought all the best as well, that fight with uh, Marco Chito, cheating. Um, some great fights with Marco Rio, Shane Mosley, low, loads of good names. They were for all the best at the time, so he definitely didn't mention. Hector Macho Camacho. Absolutely. What's this guy said? Okay. All right. Yeah, head to Macho Camacho. Um, he's a great fighter as well. Multiple with three weight world champion, be triggering Leonard, uh, Roberto Duran as well. I mean, yeah, he tried to Roberto Duran as well. Roberto Duran? Lost to Los Salvador Sanchez. No, he lost to Los Salvador Sanchez. Lost to uh, Cesar Chavez. Uh, lost to him, but he definitely needs to be mentioned. Ivan Calderon, one of the greatest, is it? Flyweight, flyweight. I think it's yeah, around flyweight. Yeah, flyweight. One of the greatest flyweights of all time. Ivan Calderon, beautiful defense from Paul in Puerto Rico, as well as the Hector Camacho, and uh, he's a, he's an outstanding fighter to watch. Dillian White on the verge. Yeah, he'll be. He, I put him in there because he's Dillian White, definitely on the verge of getting the WBC championship soon. I feel uh, Dillian White will definitely get the belt. Um, I feel Dillian, Dillian White definitely deserves to be on the list. And accomplishments, he really beat Joe Parker, former WBO champion. So Dillian definitely in the mix of becoming one of the all-time greats. If he continues to do what he's doing, you know, we see uh, Dillian White. Alicia Ashley, the only woman I've actually put out here as, you know, uh, out here as one of the greats. She's born in Jamaica. Uh, you can check her ride on my YouTube channel over a fight. She got some bad decisions of crossing in different countries, Argentina, but she won a lot of fights. Mobile World, World Champion, Alicia actually definitely deserves to be on the list. O'Neill Bill, O'Neill Bell, is it? Is that O'Neill Bell? O'Neill Bell, um, outstanding fighter. Uh, he definitely is a, a great fighter. He's the first guy to unify to make undisputed uh, cruiserweight champion, I think, since Van der Holyfield um, at the cruiserweight division. And um, he was a very good fighter, actually. I think a lot of people should uh, should should pay him. More, more, more respect. Um, he's, a, he's a great fighter. Um, Bell, uh, who else we got here? Uh, Donovan Razor Rudder. He had some great fights with uh, Mike Tyson. Uh, not that uh, see the dokes. Um, and uh, yeah, he's he's a great fighter. And don't forget uh, Glenn Robinson. Both of them do uh, Donovan Razor Rudder and Glenn Johnson. We we'll talk about now. Glenn Johnson, not that Ray Jones. He had great fights with Carl Frost. He finally got his. Uh, Finally got the belt. Finally became a lightweight champ, light light heavyweight champion when he beat um, Clinton Woods uh, over here up in Sheffield. He had like four fights with him. He won the, He won quite a lot of them, but he didn't get the decision. And uh, they kept rematching until finally he got his belt. And then after that, you know, he carried his belt with grace. And then he finally, you know, what I'm saying, went out and knocked out Roy Jones. When Roy Jones, uh, arguably Roy Jones, got Roy Jones one of the best fighters of all time. Uh, what else we've got here? Oh, yeah, don't forget Terra Burbick. Terra Burbick, um, great fighter, beat Muhammad Ali, catch a doll, BC belt. Um, great Jamaican fighter, yeah, better settled in America. And uh, yeah, he was a he definitely was a great fighter in uh, Terra Burbick. He was very strong, 
good fights at fight with uh, Larry Holmes. He lost to Larry Holmes, but he was a very good fighter, Cheryl Burbit. Nicholas Wars, maybe people think, oh, what's he on the list for? But he was a great fighter. I mean, he beat Nonito Denaire. He was on the rise. And um, it's a shame that, you know, we don't know what he's doing now with himself, um, unfortunately. But he's definitely a notable name on the list. Last one, Pete Gallagher. Pete Gallagher, boy, listen. He got that bolo punch, the uppercut from Shigure Robertson. And for all the greats of his time, or great uh, a world weight champion in Pete Gallagher. Um, we'll put it in the chat. Yeah, uh, my man. What's up, man? Uh, welcome back, <laughs> Barbados Joe Joe Walker. Oh yeah, Barbados. Yeah, Barbados Joe. Yeah, re represented the yeah old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I need to put. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Barbados Jackson. Come on, man. How can I forget you? Know what I'm saying. I think Peter Jackson. I actually put, mentioned Peter Jackson, but I didn't put him in the list. But I'm definitely gonna put him in right now. And Barbados Demon. Yeah. The Barbados Demon Joe Walker. Trust me, I'm putting it right now as we speak right now. So I got the name. Caribbean has got great. Yeah, man. Oh, there's my uh, unrivaled just jumped in. We're talking about the greatest Caribbean fighters of all time. We're moving around. We're going to do the greatest African fighters, the greatest European fighters. Now, I, it all started like when I saw the comment on BT and they said the greatest British. But I thought, let me just continue the list of other ones. I don't think many people did it. European, um, European list. Uh, we're going to do and we're going to do the african and uh and probably finish up with the latino and you know what i had the greatest asian fighters as well so it, it can go on it, it can go on for quite a bit um yeah the barbados dude joe walker man how can i forget him the barbados demon yeah what which i've carried it for a while that guy was a demon for real man <laughs> he carried that belt for a minute is joe walker i don't forget I didn't think actually you know what i actually didn't forget i just didn't let me see like i, I actually when i put the caribbean fighters i was checking the background i just i think i overlooked it but like i said the caribbean is massive um oh he's born in grenada okay yeah you see he's probably grenada's greatest fighter in barbados you know what i'm saying uh born in grenada and uh, yeah he holds that belt for a while man and he's short as well very short, you know what I'm saying, and, and just carried the belt with uh, style and grace for, for many years as well. But Bader Stewart, Joe Walcott, man, Peter Jackson as well. You know what I'm saying? These are these are names that some people don't know. If you don't know, go do your research and go check them out. And these are great fighters. You know? When you think about Caribbean fighters, Caribbean's got a rich history of great fighters. Let me see, uh, let me see how many fighters in Ghana. I don't even know. I mean, I mean, oh, yeah, um, there's um, Vivian Harris. Man, how can I forget my man Vivian Harris? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put Vivian Harris in this thing as well. Vivian Harris is, is, is a, him and, and Andrew Sixhead Lewis. Howard Eastman. Yeah, Andrew Sixhead Lewis. Um, Howard Eastman. Uh, Vivian Harris. Oh, Wayne Braithwaite. Vivian Harris. Uh, yeah, yeah. They've got quite a few. They've got a good, rich history of uh, of, of champions, man. Good, rich history. So not that noble name that stands up. That's how it is, yeah. Howard Eastman and uh, probably Vivian Harris and Andrew Sixhead Lewis and Wayne Braithwaite. We stand out the most, yeah. But in the own right, great champions. Um, in the own right, great Ghanaians, Ghanaians, not Ghanaians. Uh, they, they have some great champions in the own right as well. So, anyways, uh, let me see what you guys are saying in the chat a bit more. Put some more in. Like I said, this is a friendly thing. Um, you guys, yeah, it's, 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 it's talking point. Whoever you think, I'm not gonna go in. Whoever you think is the greatest, the arguably say, it. yeah, it's a comment just to, to recognize all these great champions in the Caribbean. But the greatest of all time, most people would look towards. In my opinion, when you think of the Caribbean islands, people overlook Phoenix and Stevenson and, and um, Phoenix of one and Tefoson and Stevenson. They probably look overlook and They probably go straight to um, Julian Jackson or. Um, Mike McCallum, and I'll write you so, you know, they, they, they don't put the work in. But don't forget Barbara the Peters and Peter Jackson and some of them other guys as well, you know. Caribbean's big, Felix Trinidad, you've got all the Puerto Rican fighters as well. So there's many vast, vast uh, library of uh, boxing greats. There is, let me see what you guys have in the chat before I leave. Ah, what we've got here. The Demon was a, yeah, old school, yeah, thing, yeah. He was born in Ghana. Yeah, he was McGregor, you see. Uh, I thought you did. Yeah, yeah. 
just for her. So the lady wrote that. Joe Gaddy girl. Stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you saw my interview with um Clean Alcott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me and Clean, we, we was going in <laughs> about Joe Gans. Yeah. Some good stuff there, me and her, man. Anyways, yeah, I appreciate you guys and you guys in the chat. Make sure you thumbs up, share it around, and let's get this let's get talking about boxing. So that's what we came here to be. Thanks very much. I'll catch you next one. Peace.